Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Easy Programming. I am Naveen Mishra and I will continue teaching you how to write programs in C and C++ language. In my previous video, I have discussed the topic of operator overloading where I have explained two programs that is unary operator overloading and binary operator overloading. Now in this video, I will start a new topic called type conversion which includes class to basic data type conversion, basic to class data type conversion and class to basic data type conversion. Before you guys start this video tutorial, I will suggest you guys to please watch my previous videos as this is an intermediate class, intermediate level class and the students must know the basics about operators, constructors, operator overloading, classes and objects. Only then they will be able to understand this video. So I will suggest you guys to please watch my previous videos and do subscribe and share to my channel and please like this video. Okay, so let's start. Uh, so first of all type conversion and basic data type. Uh, in C language you guys have uh, studied about type casting where we type, we cast one data type variable into another data type. For example here, this int a is equals to 4. So I have declared an integer variable Then float b declared a float variable then either you do this b a equals to b or b equals to a you are casting float to integer or integer to float so this type casting is automatically performed by the compiler and this is perfectly fine but we can do the same thing in c++ language as well but can we do this for the user defined data type for example class objects this is achieved this is possible and one can type cast one class object into another class or to basic data type or from basic data type to class. This type casting is called type conversion where, where class is involved and the programmers have to write the code by themselves in their class to perform this type of casting. Okay. So let's start with uh, types of type conversion topic. So there are three types of uh, type conversion. First is from basic data type to class data type. Uh, here I have declared a class A which is of user defined data type, created the object of A1, created the object A1 of class A, then declared a basic variable that is int b and copying this b value to A1 object. So this is a basic to class type. I can do the opposite of that that is class to basic. Class to basic is if I converts this line from a1 equals to b2 b equals to a1 so here is a class to basic data type now what if a1 and b1 both are of classes class a and class b then it will be called class to class type conversion okay so there are three types of type conversion let's start with the first one that is basic to class data type it is very easy to accomplish as it is the easiest among the three that i have explained earlier so here the source type is basic and the destination is class. What I mean, what I'm trying to say here is like I am writing here a1 equals to b. Now this b is your source and a1 is your destination. So when I do this, the basic data type source is passed to destination that is class data type. To perform this type of type casting, we have to create the constructors in the class and the object pass the basic data type during declaration and this basic data type is copied to arguments and through arguments the data is passed to the constructors okay let's understand its program so this is the program i have written what i am trying to do is trying uh, trying to do here is uh, i am using a variable here time in seconds where i am reading the value time in seconds like 8000 seconds available to me then what i want to do is i want to convert this time into hours, minutes and seconds. So as you guys know or must know about the basics of time that 1 hour is equals to 60 minutes and 1 hour is equals to 3600 seconds and 1 minute equals to 60 seconds based on this conversions I am I am doing these conversions here and what I expect is I want to convert this basic data type uh, basic data type which gives me the time in seconds and convert it into object and then read this hours minutes and seconds okay so when i declared the object t1 what i'm what i have is i have three variables hours minutes and seconds this is a basic data type 8000 and when i write this line like time t1 equals to time in second this time in second is passed as an argument to the time constructor so this time in second that is 8000 is copied to ti 
Here I have done is Ti divided by 3600, so hours I receive the hours. Then I have calculated the remainder of the seconds. Then these seconds are divided by 60 to get the minutes and seconds. So after I do this, the 8000 seconds will be converted into 2 hours, 13 minutes and 20 seconds. Okay, and this is your output as you guys can see. So here, this time in seconds, which is of integer data type, is copied to T1 object. So this is a basic to class data type conversion. I hope you guys have understood it. Okay, and let's continue with the next topic that is class to basic type. What if I have an object which contains this time and I want to convert it back into other type? So this type of conversion cannot be performed using the constructor function. We have to overload the type cast operators. So in the same class of time, I will write an operator function and do the uh, type casting there. If you are, if you guys are implementing this operator function, then this operator function must have these conditions satisfied. The first of all, it must be of a, it must be a class member. So you cannot place the code outside the class. It must not specify a return type like in basic, like in uh, unary operator overloading, we were passing no uh, return type, but in binary, we were passing return type. We don't have to mention anything here, not even void. The next is it doesn't have any arguments as well. You don't have to pass the arguments. Okay. So make sure that these three things are satisfied when you write the program. Here I have written the program and let me show you. Let me show the program to you guys. So this is same hours, minutes and seconds inside my class. I have used a constructor to convert the time that is 8000 seconds into hours, minutes and seconds here. Then I have used a show function and showing this time in seconds. Now what I want is I want to convert this T1 back to normal variable. So here I have used T1 dot operator. So this operator int calls this operator int okay so t1 object values are passed here not using the arguments as the direct reference like t1 dot here t1 values are automatically passed to this int and here during the return what i have done is i have divided by 3600 i have multiplied by 3600 and so on i have done the opposite of the constructor function and converted it into basic data type. So here in this 27th line, I have converted the basic data type into class object. And in the 29th line, I'm converting class object to the basic data type. To do so, I have to write the operator function where I have returned a value by calculating it. So here, uh, as I have explained you in the previous slide that you don't have to mention the return type, not even wide, and you don't need the arguments as well. Okay. And when we do this, this R into 3600 calculates a value like this one. So this 2 multiplied by 3600 plus this 13 minutes multiplied by 60 and then plus 20 seconds are added to calculate the duration 8000 and you guys can see the output of the program here. Okay. So first of all, basic to class type conversion is performed and this 8000 is converted into hours, minutes and seconds. Then class to basic converts this hours, minutes and seconds back to the uh, duration type. Okay, so this is the program of class to basic type conversion. Now let's study about the third type like class to class type conversion. So conversions from one class type object to another class type object can be carried out in constructor or in operator using conversion function. So both the possibilities are there. It depends on how you guys want to perform the type casting. Whichever method you find it easier, you guys can do that. The compiler type treats them the same way. So if the conversion, if the conversion you guys want to perform in the source class, then you have to use the operator function. And if the conversion you want, you guys want to do in destination class, then constructor is used. So casting operator is used here in source class and constructor is used in the destination class. Uh, this is the table where I have explained that there you have to type what, what kind of code. So conversion is required. This is the source class and this is the destination class. And if you guys are performing basic data type to class data type, then you cannot write anything in the source class because it is of basic data type. And in the destination class, you will write a constructor. You will implement a constructor and write the code to convert there. In class to basic, you cannot do anything in the destination class because it is a basic data type. But in the class, in the source class, you will type cast your operator. And in the class to class, both options are available to you. You can use any one of them. You don't have to write the both one. You can use any one of them. You can write this thing or you can write this thing. Let me show you the 
show you this thing using a program so this is the program i have written which is converting one data type one class type into another type i am creating two classes one is inventory one and another is inventory two in inventory one i am reading the code number then items and price three variables i am using let's say the product uh, inside the inventory there is a product code let's say 1001 and the total value is like five products are stored so five is my items and price per unit is like 200 then 200 multiplied by five the total value okay so inside the inventory one class i have used code items and price variable declared a constructor where simply i'm reading the value and show function to show these values now i am using class inventory to another class where i want to show the code number and its value that is total price let's say i have five products of 200 price then the total value is 5 multiplied by 200 that is 1000 so in inventory 2 i have used a code and value again i have declared a constructor let's forget this for, for some time then i have used the show function where i am showing this value okay so this is the uh, simple two inventory classes one is inventory 1 and another is inventory 2 uh, forget this line initially i will explain it to you and inside my main class first of all i have declared an object of inventory 1 class so a source object with 100 code 5 number of items and 140 price is passed so a, one object of source is created then i have created the object another object destination when i do this then this constructor is called and code and value are initially set to zero then i write this code destination equals to source that is i am casting source to destination that is one data type one class type is converted into another type and then i am showing source value as well as the destination value now this code this code will only work if i write the conversion function or the constructor function here first of all i am drawing the Con, uh, constructor function so inside the second class that is inventory class i have declared a constructor function as soon as as soon as i write this line the control is transferred here to the 35th line and the code is passed to the code and the value is calculated by multiplying the items with the price so let's say 140 multiplied by 5 uh, uh, i think it is uh, 5 was 20 200 and 700 yeah 700 value will be shown to you guys so if i compile and run this file just a second yeah there you go uh, so this is the inventory one type that is the value contains 100 5 and 140 after conversion this 5 multiplied 140 equals to 700 so here what i have done is i have implemented the conversion in the inventory two function now what if i don't want to perform the conversion in the destination function this is the easier method but what if you want if you don't want to do that what you can do is you can comment it then you have to write the operator function inside the source class so operator inventory to that is the type of object that you want to pass and you have declared this inventory to here since i am creating a class in the 24th line but using it in the 22nd line that's why i have to declare my class in the fourth line so that the compiler doesn't give me any error doesn't show me any error and this def this declaration is completed here that is in the definition okay and what i have done here is inventory one that is this operator function definition belongs to this inventory one class then scope resolution operator and inventory two i'm defining it and using a temporary variable i'm doing the same thing that is reading the code and passing it to the t code then price multiply items into t value and then i'm returning this t value here okay so this can also work we'll do the same thing okay you guys can see that but if you guys implement the both thing then compiler will get confused that which definition to execute and it will generally give you an error of mbgs here this mbgs mbgs means you are performing this type casting in two in both cases so you have to comment one of these things okay this is uh, i'm just doing this uh, so that so that you guys can understood the both method but you do, you guys don't have to write this you know if you want to simply write the program of converting one class to another class so you guys can remove these lines which i have commented and write the program so this is the program of one data type of class to another data type class conversion uh, that's it from this video
thank you very much for watching my video uh, i'll see you in the next video see you in the next video cheers